Let's have a beautiful experience. In this video, we're gonna talk about chi charging techniques to help you naturally raise your testosterone, your human growth hormone, and make your penis bigger. It's a beautiful thing. You gotta love it. All right, before we get started here, please do me a huge, huge favor. Please ring the bell, you know, subscribe to the channel. Of course, give me that Arthur Fonzo really thumbs up like so I say hey. And of course, follow me on my social media. I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on my Instagram, Snapchat, I'm Young Dago. And like Rocky Balboa says, hey yo, I didn't no bell. So make sure you ring the bell because I'm putting content out daily. And you know, without further ado, I'm here to tell you what we're all about here in the BCC, the Big Cat Consciousness, the Big Cat Collective. We'll help you manifest a bigger, wider, thicker, longer, stronger, and higher penis. Help you naturally raise your HGH and your testosterone. I'm a spiritual guide and a mentor. I'm here to expand your mind and increase your size. So what we're talking about here today all has to do with your chi and your energy. And what that all correlates with is um you know about grabbing your energy out of anywhere and you know i've had to experience a few things myself today and you know about you know just grabbing my just being able to grab energy in this particular time in this place and it all comes to what's in here and one of the best ways that i gotta say is if you want beauty to appear you gotta keep this clear and when you're going with that flow you're understanding that you're a clear conduit for growth and you're letting yourself get out of your own way and you're not letting other energies you know come into here and that's one of my biggest things that you know you got to go with on a day to day and you know my say it takes some practice but like i say it's called you know it's a tau practice the Wu way flow and it's definitely something that helps me grow it's the path of least resistance and what that means is just kind of just going with the flow of the day not fighting anything you know some people call it umpaya and the boats and whatever they want to say but for the most part just make it easy go with the you know go with the easy way of go going through it and it's definitely going to pay you out tremendously and that doesn't necessarily mean you know about how hard something is it's just a matter of you know just taking care taking care of the things as you go and that's something that will definitely help you flow definitely help you you know get that energy going with and like i say another great way is um you know before your feet hit the ground every single day you know the sound if you've been following me you know gratitude's the attitude so go ahead take this breath I got a shot today. I feel beautiful. And with that flow, you de you're definitely in that receptive mode, that receptive grow that's going to definitely help beautiful things come to you. Because when you're in that state of gratitude, you're just appreciating the existence of just existing and having that shot and having that breath. Because everybody here has purpose. You're a beautiful person. You have purpose. And, you know, like I say, man, if you're coming with love, and you're coming with energy, you can do no wrong. You know, this video, we're all talking about some chi charging tricks, but you know, I gotta share that matrix hack anytime that I can. If I got that heart pumping, you know what I gotta say. Anytime I see somebody, anytime somebody comes to my mind, if I see somebody on, you know, on the TV, I hear somebody on the other line of the phone, I'm standing in line at the grocery store, wherever I happen to be. If I see you cross my path, you know, instead of having a neutral thought or any thought, I just intend on you to have a beautiful day. This is all you've got to do. Have somebody feel love in some kind of way and go along your day. And you just hack the matrix for the better. And these are the types of things that can definitely bring you, you know, into your own energy. Because you're letting you, you got to understand that. Energy essentially is just always there for you to grab onto. You're your own, um, you know, uh, battle when it comes to, uh, you know, staying up. And like I said, there's a whole bunch of other factors. I mean, of course, you know me. I'm, I'm always staying up crazy hours. And, you know, I'm able to, you know, stay up for a few days at a time. Other times I'm sleeping for a few days. Is this the right way? I, I say that there's no right way. There's no wrong way. There's only your way. And you got to find what works for you. And this is something that works for me. I'm not telling you that, you know, you know, because you got so many people that are, you know, you got, you know, uh, selling a ring to measure how you sleep. And it's like, you know, if you want to get all these gadgets to help you go to sleep at night, I mean, realistically, it's so, it's something that's so simple that people take for granted. 
and we're talking about you know buying a more expensive bed and this that and the other and really it all comes to what's in your head man and that's why it doesn't matter if you're sleeping on you know a cloud or whatever you got to make sure that the clouds in here you got to make sure that this is clear and this is the techniques that you know put you in that clear path for for growth helping you with your energy flow and that's what that's something that's going to definitely pay you back tremendously and you know, it's something that you just need to be aware of on a day to day and just, you know, at least entertain the uh, the idea that you have the you have the power to just grab it at any given time. And I'm telling you that you can. And you just like, you know, a lot of things all correlate to the way that you talk and the words that you're using on a day to day because words have validity. Words have power, so watch what you're saying. Watch your words, you know what I mean? You know, a lot of people, like a lot of old school people that, you know, they always got to talk. It's like people that just got up and had a cup of coffee are already talking about how tired they are. And it's like, why you, like, why do you got to bring that energy into the mix, man? Let's talk about, let's talk about things that we're grateful for. You don't got to sit here and just be like, oh, I'm so tired, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't, that's no good for nobody. But some, because it may, some people do these what I call, um, you know, auto programmed, uh, auto, you know, just an automatic uh, conversation just to have your, you know, lip, or lip service, as uh, Abraham would say. Just people that just got to, you know, hear the, you know, just see the, um, just move their lips just because that's what they got to do. But it's like, are you understanding what you're really saying? You know what I mean? And that's why, you know, you don't want to use any negative body uh, metaphors. And those are something that is definitely something that you're going to, you know, uh, you're going to learn as you go. A lot of things that I took out of my flow and I even check out, you know, uh, you know, some of my older videos and, you know, my, you know, just taking swear words out of my uh, day to day has been something that has raised my energy and it's helping me just, you know, be more productive and feel better just naturally. Because, you know, don't get me wrong, I still love my swear words. You're going to still hear some, you're going to still hear them every now and then, but it's just not the way that I used to do it. And some people swear every two seconds and that's just no good for nobody. And what you're understanding is um, there could be an energy behind the words that are said. But like I, you know, like, you know, um, I go more off of the intention of the word because essentially you could say hello and you know a million different ways and it could feel like this when really you know it's it's all about how the person's saying it you could say how you doing or how you doing or you could say you know how you doing you know what I mean there's just so many different inflections and ways of just getting yourself to know that it's not the it's not so much the word it's the inflection but be as it may the words can have some type of reflection that you understand that a lot of negative people are using these words which can be translated into your existence at this particular time and now and essentially there is only now and when we got that right now flow i'm going to show you a quick hack to let you grow you know me always sharing the mind muscle connection because we're talking Talking about energy right now and we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and preach it out some more you know Steve Jobs he read the book the autobiography of a yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda and he's the one that brought yoga to the west and also told us you know about being our best with these you know special exercises and balance and of course i've took i've taken the yoga to my own practice and i call it groga because paramahansa says the mind is the wielder of muscle and i really believe that because i know it doesn't matter about how much weight you're lifting at the gym how many sets that you have it's all about putting your mind into the size man and that's a beautiful thing it's literally seeing me just grow right on the screen and anytime that you are just in this flow, I'm just feeling myself heat up, naked in a chair, long hair flowing, skin grow, skin, skin glowing, body growing, spirit knowing that I, I want, I want you to say this with me. Whenever you got one last set and you just go ahead and just breathe it in and just say, I am magic. I am divine and I can increase my size oh yeah it's a beautiful thing man you really gotta get that flow going to let you grow and let you know that we're on the right flow and yeah man it's a beautiful thing that's a quick hack to just let you grab energy at any given time mind you i finally got some sleep today you know i'm feeling beautiful i was gonna do it when i was tired but i did the Wu Wei float and you know i know i got accountability to uphold and you could count on me waiting for you in the parking lot. Of course, I have to give you a happy Gilmore analogy. And I ended up watching the original Longest Yard last night. And I got to see 
Mr. Larson when he was younger. And I never knew he was in that movie because I haven't really watched the original uh, Longest Yard. And it was a beautiful thing. But like I said, man, anyway, <laughs> being able to smile is definitely an energy hack at any given time. Like I always call it the brush rush. You know, I go brush my teeth. It gives me a reason to smile because I mean, you know, when you're, whenever you have those teeth just clean, uh, just clean and they're just gleaming and glowing, it's definitely a reason to just like, you know, you're just feeling like that's beautiful. And that's what you gotta do in the mirror. And when you're talking to the universe, anytime you're looking in the mirror, you gotta say some beautiful things to that guy or that person, that being, that soul. And you gotta let them know that you're doing something right. So when you're smiling at that mirror, you're smiling back at you, you're smiling at the universe. And when we're going with that, you're understanding that everybody's a reflection of you anyways. And anytime that you're put in a position where you might not necessarily, you know, be um, just, you might be triggered as they say, or just whatever it is, you gotta understand that it's not just that person that's doing it. It's a two way street and up and down, this is 3D, whatever you wanna say. There's so many different uh, levels of this. And when you get out of your own way, you understand that, you know, whatever that person's giving you, it's kind of, you know, it's part of you too. You take ownership on that. And it might not sound like, well, how does, look, this guy cutting me off. Well, I'm telling you, the way you react and all that stuff is all on you. And you're the one that's got to, you know, woo-saw that energy away from you. Just kind of, you know, uh, erase it a little bit and get back to you. Keep it clear in here. You got to take that mental plunger, man, and just take all these thoughts. This is, a, this is another matrix hack that I do every now and then. Just if you're really getting overwhelmed, see, I'm putting it on the third eye right there. And this is what I call the, you know, the mind plunger, you know. I know it might look crazy, but, you know, like Steve Jobs says, the ones that, the ones that are crazy, that believe that, the ones that are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that do but like i say we might all live on the same planet but we're all from different worlds now be as it may you got a whole bunch of crazy thoughts just rattling up your brain this is one of the quickest ways that i can say to get rid of them all you gotta do is just breathe in and you gotta think all these thoughts that ain't me all these thoughts that are not making me be the most beautiful most giant most dynamic gigantic beautiful being that i can be anything that's robbing me of my energy anything that's not within me i want you to take all these thoughts all of these things of negative negativity anything that isn't making me the most beautiful person i can be take all these thoughts and just cease them to be. And that's what you got to do. You throw them out. That might sound like some uh, some pasture stuff. Like, you know, release the demons. You know what I mean? But it means it may, like, it's, you know, it's all um, energy anyways. You know what I mean? And when you're able to just grab into that. And when you're really into that, like, you could be anywhere. And, like, I've, you know, I've done that to people where they actually feel better. And I'm not here to say that I'm some type of... Uh, you know healer or whatever but essentially everybody is if you believe you can do it and you're the one that's got to essentially heal yourself so if you're in a position of you know wanting to get rid of these thoughts man it's like you know do it little little by little man you know you're going to definitely see you know you're going to definitely clear this runway up and that's going to make you that clear conduit for growth now what this all has to do with um naturally raising your testosterone and your human growth hormone is you know like i say man i don't discredit science but i don't discredit magic and when you're going with the magic you know magic is all about you know keeping this clear and free in your mind like morpheus said to neo in the matrix if you want to jump off that building to get to the other side you got to free your mind and that you know of course it's a movie reference or whatever but i mean you know it's it's correlated into the way that we go through the day-to-day -day of just clearing this up and a lot of people do things like meditation and you know me, I got other types of practices in my BCC that I can teach you, you know, masturbation for manifestation, which is something, you know, a technique to help you, you know, clear this up and focus on the size and get you where you want to be. And of course, you know, the jelking, the kegels, the edging, the super edging, the whole, you know, all these techniques are beyond me and beyond, uh, beyond knowing. But the mo most important thing is the energy level and clearing this path up because that's going to definitely help you, you know, have that, you know, when you have the least amount of resistance you're going to just have it just go charge up your chakra system and we're talking the third eyes right there the crowns up there that heart man you know i love the love and the sacral and the throat but don't forget the penis is on the root 
And that's something that gets overlooked a lot. And I feel like a lot of fitness fitness people miss their mark. And I feel that a lot of uh, spiritual gurus miss their mark because, you know, we are all divine beings and we are all sexual beings too. And when we're talking about things such as, you know, charging your chi, we're talking about, um, you know, essentially what creates life, you know, like, you know, when we're talking about your balls down there, we're talking about, you know, that... Uh, makes the seed that fertilizes the egg it's essentially the fertilizer of life and some people are just blowing life all over their pillowcase or wherever they go on a day to day and i'm not saying that that's the wrong thing to do but i'm just saying that you just need to be more mindful of your loads and what they can do and putting them back into you and you know montag chi guy i preach a lot on here he's you know really he's one of the you know um Tao, he's a Tao, a Tao um, expert from China, and he always tells you about, you know, um, the healing org, the healing orgasm, and it's not about you know projecting it out, but about bringing it in. And what I do is he, you know, he puts it into his organs. And he's like, you know, he's a ninja with this stuff. He knows where he's putting it. But me, I keep it more simple, and I just, you know, I put it into the muscles, I put it into the hair, I put it, you know, I put it into my body, I put it into size, and I feel like that's something that is beautiful, which you can be doing instead of blowing it out. You bring it back in. And I know it might sound like, how does that even translate? Your mind, you know, your mind is making the magic. So you're gonna feel it as you go, and the more you do it, the more you're gonna grow. And that's why I really believe in the super edging flow. And some people do the whole no fap thing, and that's just not me. I don't, it's, you know, teach their own, but to me, it's use it. You gotta, it's use it or lose it, but more or less, just be aware of it. I feel like people that, you know, you know, people that are naked, they act like they don't even have nothing down there. And I love this, like, I dream of Gene. The bees and me, they act like, oh, yeah, it's like, no, it's up here. You know, it's like, dude, you got a whole body down there. You got a huge piece of meat swinging at the knees, dropping to the pecs, making you your best. But bees and me, you gotta understand, you got a piece that's down there. And it's like, what, are you gonna act like you shouldn't be pulling on it? It's like, who the, who's the boss of anybody? You know, who's the boss? Samantha, Angela, I don't know, Mona. I don't know why I didn't say that. But you know me, I know a lot of crazy old school movies and TV shows. And I'm, I do all these things just to keep you smiling because when you're smiling, you're at the divine. You are at the source of what we all are. And we are all love. We are all laughter. And I read this fancy meme today that, you know, kind of woke me up. And it said something along the lines of, you learn to laugh before you learn to talk. And that is something that is, you know, you could take that for whatever you want, for whatever it's worth. Write it on a fortune cookie, some dumb guy. I got, I got the glow, Leroy. Yo, Leroy, am I the baddest? Am I the prettiest? Show sure enough. You know me, I have to just throw another, I had to throw a last dragon in there for you. You guys might not even know these movies. Yet they're on Netflix. And if you want to, you go ahead and just, you know, some people, you know, if you want to explore them, go ahead. But if you got other things to do with Mangaloids and um, uh, other shows that you like, I'm not against it or The Mandalorian. I'm sorry, you know, don't quote me on, uh, you know, you want to play some Fortnite. Anything that you want to do to make you feel all right. If you're smiling, you're doing something beautiful. And that's really what this all comes down to. We're talking about charging your chi today. We're talking about not ejaculating every single day my attack has got the charts that will tell you when you're in your 20s you want uh, the 20s every two days uh 30s every four days and then by the time you're uh 60 it's like once a month you know me i feel like his uh you know he's from the east he's in china they do things twice as hard as we do in the west but we're talking about you know chopping that chart in half to make you your best and of course it, you know it makes more sense but at, at the end of the day, you know, not everybody is in, in control of their load anyways. And, you know, unless every load that you're having is that earthquake and body shake and just, yeah, just an explosion where they have things like a cannon just blowing holes in the drywall, you know what I mean? That's a superpower we're talking about, man. You know me. But regardless, man, we're saying that, you know, your seed, you know, should have that, you know, if, if it's blowing, if you're blowing loads like that, you're going to definitely need the recovery to get back. But I feel that most people aren't ejaculating like that. And no two loads are really created equal. And we're talking about you got to go off of your own flow. 
and you could blow off multiple loads in a day and still be okay with your chi. I just want you to know that. It's just more or less being aware of where you're at and understanding that you're gonna have to recharge yourself to get back to where you're at. And when we're talking about charging your chi, it's more or less with the super edging technique. And you gotta see where your penis is you know, love, like, you know your penis is there. It should be right there in your pecs, you know what I mean? Uh, and we're just saying that you need to be aware of the hardness level. And if you're blowing a load when it's like a, you know, tube of cookie dough or whatever, I mean, this is no good for nobody. We're talking about it should be like, it should be at 100. And if you, if 100% hard, we want you to be 150%, 200%, a million percent hard. We want the thing growing, you know what I mean? That's the, you know, the power of super edging. And when we're talking about that, we're not talking about, you know, just blowing a load when you're flogging, you know, and that's just that, this, that, you know, a lot of people, I feel like doing that you watch a lot of pornos out there you know because there's so many different factors and what people are doing in that moment to sell an illusion for people's you know fan uh, fascination anyways but when we're going with you know, a whole nother topic for another another video like I said man really get at me if you want me to really expand your mind but anyways what we're talking about here is increasing your size and when we're talking about you know charging your chi and these techniques we're talking about keeping that thing as hard as you can before you even think about releasing that load and if you blew a bunch of loads today and you whenever you go back to get yourself ready to go see where you're at are you as hard as you want to be and i'm talking about being on, not on synthetics we're talking about being on you know being in you know, being on life man being on you because essentially i'm you know i'm giving you the gifts to unlock what's already in here anyways man because i feel like the steroids from the divine are in here the divine cialis the penis of priapus the muscles muscles of hercules and zeus and all that that's all in here man and it's all about unlocking it and tapping into your best version and i believe that these entities can help you if you believe in that and most importantly like rocky balboa says nothing's real unless you believe in yourself so believe in who you are, man, because we are all from the stars, and whatever's inside of me is inside of you, it's inside the blue. And like I gotta say, all truths are true. So just find the ones to make you, you. And when we're going with that, I'm talking about, you know, this, you know, the chi charging technique. And I'm throwing this at the end because, you know, this better be somebody, you know, this is for the ones that really listen and really understand. Um, you don't have to just blow a load, um, you know, uh, every single. You don't have to worry about if you blew uh, too many loads today is what I'm getting at. And you can definitely charge it back to where you're at at any given time. But just make sure you're aware of the hardness factor. So if you blew, like, let's say you blew 10 loads today, all right? You know, you're, you're a superstar. You know what I mean? You went with that many. When you get back to, uh, you know, uh, charge your chi, how hard can you be is what I want to know. And we're talking about no Viagra, no synthetics. We're talking about all in here. So if you can get it back to this, then I'd say you're doing something great. We're talking throbbing hard. Or if you're not aware of that, you know, maybe you thought your penis was here the whole time when really it can be up here. Maybe you didn't know that. So understand the focus of the grow. So if your penis is throbbing hard where it's like we're talking a hurting hard erection, which is really, the you know, that's a satisfying hurt. You know what I mean? We're not talking about, you know, moon and pain obviously you know blue balls and all these things you know i'm telling you I've, I've gone multiple hours where you know when you want to put an ice pack on your balls what i found with super edging is usually after around three hours is when i'm gonna have to put my you know if i have to put a bag of uh, frozen vegetables or something on there man just to take care of it but it's not like uh these guys that are just being these mod show i i, I don't teach their own but i mean you know, like when a guy's not even hard and he's saying that he's getting blue balls, it's like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, give me blue balls. Like, oh, come on, girl, you give me blue balls. It's like, you're still in your pair of jeans there, buddy. You know what I mean? Like, how hard are you? I mean, are you ripping up your dungarees right now? I mean, is there, a, I mean, is that thing just throbbed out to your pecs right now? Just, just, just begging to uh, ejaculate? Or are you just sitting there just, you know, or, you know, wanting to create a story to tell your boys later that, yeah, she gave me blue balls and I couldn't have sex. I'm just saying, see where we're at. We're talking about making you your best version. And we're talking about being more in tune with your body and understand for everybody out there, for everybody, 
somebody's dick's getting hard and somebody's pussy's getting wet. So never let your insecurities ruin other people's happiness. And that's something that I feel that I should close with. And we're talking more in depth about the, you know, the chi charging techniques, what it all comes down to is after you're done with all your loads, you can definitely charge it back up, but then don't release it. Just bring it back into you and we start fresh and see where you're at on your energy levels after that. So with that, you know, we got the, the 12 days of Christmas, the 12 days of Gromus, the ho, ho, bro, baby. You know what I mean? We're going to have so many more beautiful experiences to come. Make sure you're getting at me, at, you know, on the BCC. Get on my social media. Check out my bear, my wolf. We got a couple of Pekingeses that are making some guest cameos over here. You know, I got the drop top out the other day. Top down, snouts down, snouts out. You know what it's all about. Make sure you're following me over there. You know, it's a beautiful thing. And of course, you know what I mean, since it's uh, you know, that time of year, you see the guy in front of uh, you know the Walmart or whatever with the red bucket, you want to put a dollar in it. Give because you like to be given. Don't give if you don't feel like giving. Give for the sake of giving. And I got me a wish list if you feel like, you know, helping out and being a, you know, just being being in a giving mode. I'm here to receive. And I just want to tell you guys that you guys are beautiful. I love you guys. I intend on you guys to spread more love today. Make beautiful things happen along the way. And I intend on you guys to grow. Have us become the giants that we are. We're talking heads in the clouds. We're talking huge massive muscles. We're talking about a huge piece of meat throbbed up to your pecs. Making you your best. We're able to kiss it. We're talking about not worried about the gremlins at your feet. But of course not stomping on the wrong person's house. You know what we're about. I just want to tell you guys that I love you. You're going to have plenty more beautiful experiences to come. Make sure you ring the bell. I told you in the beginning. Hey, yo, thank you, ring the bell. <laughs> but either way, man, you guys are beautiful. I'll be seeing you around. Peace.